Hey, what's going on everyone? Today's the 25th of June, 2023. We're gonna talk about Palantir today because the chart may actually be giving us some sell recommendations and we're gonna break that down. And if that's the case, then you guys can see my price prediction already on the chart. Yeah, we're gonna have to let that go and actually play the market move to the downside, all right? Deal? Let's go ahead and talk about it then. So I did a video in Palantir on the 16th of June. Okay, so here it is the 25th and we anticipate that the market in Palantir was still bullish, that we were going to anticipate prices to go up. And now you guys can see since that time, the market in Palantir has given us some indicators of weakness. We need to pay attention to these things because it's giving us a heads up. It's letting us know, look, yeah, I know you are expecting the market to go up in Palantir, but the market is actually thinking otherwise. It's thinking something different. And if that's the case, we don't want to be on the wrong side. So you guys can see that the weakness in Palantir began right here on the 20th. So when you see these indicators pop and show up, that's telling you, hey, you, you need to be thinking about your idea as to what you think Palantir is about to do. We received it on the 20th of June. OK, cool. All is not lost. But then the second day, we have another indicator of weakness created on the 21st. OK, cool, because you guys can see that I had my area of support into the market in Palantir right there around fourteen dollars and thirty cents. So I'm there. This is the point, the location to where you need to really contemplate aside. Is this market in Palantir really bullish? Because price has still gone lower. So we're in the vicinity, even though it did trade below where we said support needed to hold. I'm still satisfied with price still trading here. Now, I'm still worried because of my price prediction may be inaccurate. We need to break this down. I want to show you how you can tell also that buyers came in the market around our area of support right here. Look at this daily price bar. Look at the 22nd of June. Does this stand out at you? Because it should stand out. And I say that because this spread of this daily price bar right here in Palantir is minuscule. Like it's so small comparative to what we've seen the last four or five days of trading. Why is this spread so small? And then you look at the volume on that day as well. Look at the volume. Why is the volume heavy? This volume is heavier than it was the last four days of trading, but the spread is small because someone was buying Palantir at that price period. That's a good signal. That's a good thing for us to take note of because it tells us that what we expected as to where we suspected support to be, that this is actually where buyers are holding price. And then you guys can see the price action from last the last day of trading last week on the 23rd. Buyers still showed up into the market in Palantir. Now, once I show you a couple of daily time frames, if we see bigger weakness on those time frames. Yes, we can tell that buyers are currently trying to hold price, but if it's not being revealed on a longer term basis, then we may need to let this play go. Let me show you another thing as to how price may be telling us that Palantir is to sell. If we were to take this trend line, right? You see that, right? Again, we're not emotional here on this particular channel. We simply take a look at the information that is before us and come up with a calculated idea of a probabilistic way of where price is going to move. Seeing that price in Palantir now is breaking this trend, which began all the way back in the beginning of May, then obviously something has changed on top of us getting the weakness to break that trend line to the downside. So not only did price break this ascending line, it also broke our area of support. Here's Palantir on the two day chart. Look at this. We, we received a, a fake and a push to go down bar all in one two day price bar. OK. Here it is on the three. Another indicator of weakness on the chart for Palantir. So I'm not here to persuade you. I'm not here to tell you that the market is emphatically bullish, that is emphatically bearish. I'm simply showing you the information for what it is. Something has changed. Look at this on the five day chart. 
all the way back here to the beginning of May. We saw nothing but strength generated off the chart. Right? Market just completely blew up. Well, now we're getting weakness. Look. Okay. Here it is on the weekly chart. Another up fake. All of these daily time frames is nothing but weakness. Nothing but. So do we have a ways to go to the downside? I think we do. I'm just looking at the chart though. I'm not giving you my opinion based off the information off the chart. Yes, it is telling us that Palantir has the ability, has a greater idea to go lower right now. Okay. So we need to consider, okay, if, if we're looking for price and Palantir to go down, how low do you think it's going to go? That's the next question that we, we need to try to answer. And when we answer that particular type of question, we need to look towards the left of the price chart. What were the prior areas of resistance and or support? Because more than likely, that's going to be the area that which price is going to run to. Okay. So let's see it. Can you see it right here on the two weekly chart? Because I'm looking around this area here in Palantir to come and grab support. It's around like $12.50. That's the first area. The second area would be around 10 to 50. Now, we don't want that to happen because all of the gains that was had over the last couple of weeks will literally be wiped away for those who bought the market in Palantir. Okay. Take a look at Palantir on the five weekly chart. This is the completed five weekly price bar. And when you see the price bar, look at this. The market in Palantir wasn't able to sustain its price at 1750. Hey, I get it. People came in and took the profit off the table. The market closed well off of the highs. When you see a price bar like that, that tells you that there is definitely more selling in the market than there were buyers. Okay. This is the last week of trading for Palantir for the month of June. And right now, that's definitely weakness. Okay. So you have who, whoever, what, Kathy Wood, Alice Carp, Insiders, and Palantir. Someone definitely is coming in like, man, we were just at $7, $6.50 in Palantir. I'm definitely taking a bag now because that volume is high. It was almost about the same size as the volume from the previous month in May. But look at the spread. It's a lot smaller. So what we're going to do. So we're going to take this price prediction right here that we have in the market in Palantir and we're going to take it as it didn't play out. It just didn't work out. So if we were to get the market in Palantir on the last trade of Friday, we would be down 15.5% right there. But the information that we do now have is telling us that Palantir is definitely showing us some weakness on multiple daily time frames. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and play the weakness then. Like if you don't have the ability to switch and change the analysis once you get more information that you didn't have prior, then yeah, you definitely need to evaluate how you come and view the stock market because every day you're going to receive information that you didn't have before. And the information that we now have is definitely telling us that the weakness into the market in Palantir is greater than it is with the strength that we saw prior to us creating our last price prediction. Okay. So let's go ahead and put this on the chart. Now, these bottom portion horizontal lines is my areas of where I suspect the market is going to go. First target is like at $12.50. That is 11 and a quarter percent move to the downside in Palantir. And the second target. is going to be like 1140. We're going to do 1140 there as a second target. $11.39, 40 cents, 18.70. 
like I said, we don't want to see the market and pound to come all the way down to 1050, but anything can happen, especially when we saw the multiple indicators of weakness on different time frames. OK, that's 24.7 percent there. Now I'm going to hold this area here just as a reference so that we can view and see how weak the market and pound here really is. OK. So that is it. Go ahead and give me your thoughts and let me know where do you think price and pound tier is about to go. Make sure you maintain the profitability and as always, trade different.